This is an example of a long-term confinement area. The only thing that's missing is the puppy pad or the indoor bathroom. And we've taken that away because Mr. Echo is now holding his bladder. You'll want to have chewable objects, perhaps some toys, a little bit of water, and of course a wonderful crate that will encourage the dog to sleep. You'll need a baby gate or something similar to keep the dog inside. One of the great things about these long-term confinement areas is that it's, a, it's another great place to practice separation exercises. The confinement area and the crate, if you were using just a crate, gives you opportunities to teach the dog that it is not a big deal to be left alone. So let's show you an example of that right now. So Mr. Echo's just been put in his confinement area, and now I'm going to walk away. And maybe ever so often, if he's quiet, I'll come in and I'll drop him a piece of kibble. Very good boy. I'll walk away again. I can still see him over there. What a good boy. Who's so quiet? Very good job. There's a little snack for you. What a good boy. Good boy, Mr. Echo. Good boy. Oh, look at that. He just offered to sit. Oh, don't you want that? I'll drop it on the ground for you. There you go.